Am I the only one who is sick and tired of being told to pick up my trash? And we have plenty of janitors who are paid to do it for us. As a high school student in left-leaning Santa Monica, California, Stephen Miller delighted in provoking his classmates. And I only hope that many of my peers and people who will be leading this country will appreciate the value and respect the torture shows towards other cultures. In editorials and on conservative talk radio, Miller railed against what he saw as political correctness. Classmates and counselors say he was particularly incensed at hearing Spanish being spoken. He seemed to feel that um, the growth uh, of the country's diversity was the downfall of the country. I mean, he, he really did believe that. Later at Duke University, Miller became a prominent defender of the lacrosse players falsely accused of rape. We are at a terrible dearth of intelligent, common sense, courageous voices on campus. White nationalist Richard Spencer says he became a mentor to Miller during their time together at Duke, something Miller denies. After graduation, Miller would go on to write speeches for then Senator and future Attorney General Jeff Sessions. It's becoming more and more clear that we have chaos at the border. He'd also become a regular on Steve Bannon's Breitbart radio show. When you look and it's got 61 million, 20% of the country is immigrants. Right. Yeah, no, is that uh, not is that not a massive problem? You were you were with Jeff Sessions for many 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 years. Is that not the beating heart of this problem? Well, yeah, so it's mind-boggling, and you know, this is something that obviously I've talked about before at some length on your program. Soon after joining the Trump campaign in early 2016, Miller was helping write the candidate's speeches, even serving as his bombastic warm-up act. Everything that is wrong with this country today, the people opposing Donald J. Trump are responsible for. Trump took Miller with him to the White House, made him a key architect of the travel ban. When the ban was blocked by the courts, it was Miller who went before the cameras. Our opponents, the media, and the whole world will soon see, as we begin to take further actions, that the powers of the president to protect our country are very substantial and will not be questioned. It wasn't just the travel ban. Miller became the face of the president's entire immigration agenda. At one point, famously questioning the value of the poem on the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is a symbol of liberty enlightening the world. It's a symbol of American liberty lighting the world. The poem that you're referring to that was added later is not actually part of the original Statue of Liberty. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.